special becoming from Nas Tavares and Rico Lavinia. Love, Kedre. Uh, may conscious effort ba na pag mag-iba yung globe na yung feel niya from other day na ay pang mga ikan iba mas ko? Like, nanonood kayo yung nanonood yung mga iba mga iba mga iba? After ko ba siya nanonood ako ng iba? Before, uh, I refrain myself from watching kasi nga baka mapasok sa psyche ko na ah, yung iba ganito ginawa ng buwan na. So, when I was talking to yun na may baby uh, we were free from um, limiting our imaginations to how we gonna, how we were going to approach this. I guess dun ng galing yung uh, for us, iba yung naging itsura na. Kasi nga, we had no reference at all. We were free to our own relation. For the cast niya, since parang first time na matakot, ano yung first impression sa isa sa Ako, first impression? Okay naman, feeling ko okay naman sila ko. Okay, I'm going to say that 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 it's, it's a big problem because it's impossible to learn in that type of atmosphere. So see that very, parang parang siyang sponges. They just absorb, absorb, absorb. That was see like Jay, because uh, he work kami sa uh, stalkers. That's right. And A B C see the deck long time. Uh, we, we had already worked together, and I already knew how he works. So uh, what I saw in uh, Shay the director, uh, na excited ako. Pa. 
mas nakapag-focus ako doon sa gusto kong ikwento, sa gusto kong gawin, sa gusto kong paraan na pag-express ng uh, pagkakakita ko doon sa kwentong binigay sa akin. Ayun, I hope that makes sense. So, like, in regards with, like, Tatang J. Castillo way, anong klaseng pagkikwento ba ang dapat namin i-expect from <laughs> Sa akin naman, personally, I don't like anything too flashy. So, ando na ako lagi sa simple, pero may dating. So, if if you're gonna ask me kung uh, anong i-expect nyo sa papanoorin nyo, yung simplicity niya na tatatak sa inyo. Yun yung kung baga pinakamapapansin nyo sa ginawa na. Ang simple lang ng pagkakagawa na but na-emphasize siya of kung paano namin siya ginawa. I guess, that makes sense. And last and last idea, I put the last question. <laughs> so, um, what attracted you to do this um, movie? Anong meron dito na talaga hindi mo, ayaw mo siyang hindi gawin? I guess, being given that chance to share a story na related to reality talaga. And yung challenge na ipakita mo siya na kung paano talaga siya nangyayari. Yun yung naging driving factor ko for this project. Kasi in another past life of mine, I worked as an HR in a BPO company. So yung mga <laughs> yung mga client talaga, nagulat ako na, oh shit. Ano yung mga memo nyo? <laughs> <laughs> Anong nabala nila? So, sabi nila, sabi nila, sabi nila, sabi nila, yung isang bagay na, sabi nila, good job challenge na, sabi nila, try natin doon. Thank you, Direct. Thank you, Direct. And, and then, sa cast na lang, kasi like, even Direct earlier said, na parang, the kind of situation where he, may, may mga mag-offer talaga ng something, ang tipangki at all, kahit sa showbiz, nararanasan talaga nila. Like, from, from your end ba, like, ano yung, based on your journey sa showbiz, have you gone to that similar kind of situation where you offered something, just to be able to grab a role, etc.? Uh, ako wala, wala naman. Kasi talagang, nakita naman din ang mga bosses na binibig. Gusto ko talaga yung ginagawa mo. Tsaka binibig ko talaga yung best ko sa bawat mong binibigin sa akin. At hindi ako humihintay kung ano nga yung project na binibigin sa akin. So, ayun. Thank you, Jen. Say anything. I think, I mean, let's be honest here, right? Pasig na itong wala. This is show business. So, I, I, it's, whether you're a girl or a guy, I think you're gonna experience that a long way. Some, somewhere along the journey. That would actually one of the bigger roles, right? Uh, so I would be lying if I said I didn't experience yet that day. But like my experience with Diva has been amazing, and it's it's I haven't experienced any of that. So it's it's amazing that it's so very professional at Diva, and uh, they're really getting me. You know, I feel like they're getting me for my talent, which is a great feeling. But uh, I mean. Yeah, it's a show business. It's just like any other business, right? It's just like in a call center. Like, all of it is very relatable uh, in the sense that uh, sometimes you have to put in a little bit of extra work to get that job or that role, right? That's just life because it's very, very competitive. Show business is very competitive, right? There's, there's another guapo guy right around the corner or another, you know, uh, beautiful woman right around the corner, so you have to differentiate yourself sometimes, and that is a problem in San. Uh, I, uh, uh, very relatable at the home story, but this this movie is very accurate, uh, and it's a great story for Viva because this actually happens in call centers, so all of the intimate scenes and all the sex, it does make sense in the plot. I, uh, I was really happy in uh, uh, Viva and in the like, JK in this story, because it's, it's Nisha Pilet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Nico, follow up. So was there a point na parang malapit ka ng off-wall dun sa bait na yun? Just to... Oh, naman. Oh, naman. I can't lie and say it there because 
who wouldn't? It's, it's like a fast track, it's a shortcut, right? And I mean, any fellow actor knows how difficult this industry is and difficult it is to get work. Like, there's a lot of artists that are starving when that's the work, right? So, uh, that is Tukso, for sure. Uh, so, do you want to a point in the beginning? Uh, okay. Yeah, if I, if I did that, maybe I'll, I'll go right up to the stars, right? Uh, but now I, I really believe in myself and in my talents. And I'm not saying that to be my abama. I'm just saying that in the sense that um, I work for it. So I love my all hard work and, and sacrifices but to get to this point. So that, that's what fuels me, I think. Thank you, Arman. Thank you. Sa akin naman po, meron po talaga. Pero, ako po kasi yung mindset ko, pag work work, pero pag other than that, hindi na po kasi hindi na siya out of boundaries na po kasi. Tapos, hindi kaya ng konsensya ko. Hindi, ayoko, ayoko nang ganun. So, hindi mapapalitan ng konsensya ko yung mga yung bagay. Pero ako, yung sa iyo ba like legit ba talaga no wag ka karon ng magandang role or talagang ini-emi ka lang para ma <laughs> para para yan na da da sa manager guys ah so hindi siya legit talaga na offer okay thank you and last na lang ako sorry may yung question okay <laughs> So, last question. Last question. Last question. For for everyone, um, because like, you know, like I myself is in the BBO world. Then, then, but I'm not good guy. Okay, I'm not good guy. 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 So the question ko is like um with this kind of stories na para sabi nyo nga relatable um accurate and all like how do you want um people now to perceive those who want para ano na din sa mga gusto pang mag BPO and what kind of mindset would you want to to communicate kapag may panood nila yung movie na pero kasi totoo talaga may, may mga cases na nagkaaway na mag-asawa. Nagbabasa ko lang doon sa, ano, di ba, para may group community sila. Eh, 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 eh. Pero sa akin. For me, uh, I guess, pag na-final na yung movie na to, pagpapasok sila sa BPO, they know what to expect. So it's up to them, paano nila i-discountihan uh, yun? If they have someone working in the BPO industry, uh, but ahead of time, if you're aware, the ganon yung environment na papasubin mo, at least di ka mga culture shock, di ka mabibigla, di ka mapapressure na gawin din yung ginagawa ng iba. Kumbaga benefit siya if like mapapalala nyo siya, uh, traveler's guide to the BPO world. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, I think so relatable. Uh, so you want to experience the NGMS, so you know. Can you some places? Sigida, sigida, ito na. Ako po si TL Carl. Hindi talaga mo ko kung siya sa mga boat. Hindi. Hindi. Sige, walang na. But yeah, I think I think it's gonna this this is gonna be a really cool film to my call center agents, and I know. There's a lot of call center agents that watch Viva Max. I, uh, I was the <laughs> the So I, I'm very excited for them to watch it. They say, "Adama uh, naman ang daming call center agents sa Pinas, right?" So there's a big audience for this film. Ah, uh, ano? Eto kasi sa tiyan nagulat din ako yung story na mayroong malaking sa video. So eto may yari sa tiyan is reality. Reality ng life. So, feeling ko hindi naman na sila magugulat, lalo na mag-BBO. Yung magugulat na lang yung mga hindi nag-work on. Pero it's reality kasi. So, lahat ma-aware ko ano talaga may nangyayari sa tunay ng mundo. Yun. So, yun. Thank you. So, sa akin naman po, kaya kay Jeff, reality. Nasyak lang din talaga ako dito. 
Kasi first time ko din gampanan yung ganito. Uh, so, hindi ko masabi talaga totally kasi first time ko lang din. And hindi ko pa alam yung total background talaga about that. Okay. Malay nyo ano, maayos yung code of ethics na hindi ko. Yung pala yung boxing. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. Thank you.